Ora eye jo wise. A oko du parliamenta. Se eye aben babin eko Dubai se oko san ho yade anaso oko dwodwene ni pedia. Papa ye ohwe chire e de ma no a ye fe ni owura jo wise. The say Supreme Court e de krata aba abontin e wuli e wo ho se otimi e wo ho kwan se oto aba. Ni se i levi no e dru na se be passe. Na so no atena edwom ho. Na omogye no onu a otimi koso so e ko kase ye ye ni apase. He say ya che e de ama no a wo ho kwan se wo to aba e wo parliament. Ono an society mit na edwom e mra e ye aben baben akọ Dubai se okọ dwudwu ni nipadua no. Wo ho kwan se otimi ye den e to aba. He say ya ye kase e e ni okopiem e wo NDC fo akachi a Eye minority fo omu lida ni mwa fubruta ede brofo aba abonten a wawachire se. Ta diye we jina ye propaganda omba se i levi ni ye pasi. Inti eno ma kwa ye papana sa. Inti ye eye papa yi eka ye. Our attention has just been drawn to a ruling of the Supreme Court on the matter as to whether a person presiding as speaker consistent with Article 102 of the 1992 Constitution, which provides for the quorum, and Article 104 can exercise a vote whilst presiding. Our attention has been drawn to a very disappointing ruling of the Supreme Court of Ghana would more or less amounts to a judicial interference in time-tested parliamentary practice and established conventions everywhere in the world in civilized democracies, including the United Kingdom. The presiding officer's vote is discounted. So it's not for nothing that Article 102 provides that a person presiding shall have no original nor custom vote. The Supreme Court, to put it aptly, this ruling is judicial support for e levy nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> judicial support for e levy for a struggling economy in distress, and judicial support for the restoration of a matter that they have said is constitutional is repugnant to the provisions of Article 102 and 104. But what can we do? They have clothed with the mandate and authority to interpret the law. This is a travesty. This is a travesty of parliamentary justice. And a staff in the growth and development of multi-party constitutional democracy built on the spirit and principle of checks and balances. It is, not, is it not intriguing for us to hear whilst we await the full reasoning of the Supreme Court to hear them that, I'm quoting from one of the justices, that the quorum in Article 102 is not the same thing as a quorum in Article 104. What? Ah. Mm. That what? is the ruling. But we know that for quorum, Article 102 is authoritative on the composition of quorum for parliament for purpose of conducting business. We cannot see any material difference in the provisions of Article 104. But for their purposes, they have said that interpret 102 differently and separately from Article 104. They ought to know that Article 102, even the side notes, marginal notes, says quorum of parliament. The judiciary of Ghana is also failing Ghana's parliamentary democracy in their inability to appreciate the true meaning of Article 110 of the Constitution. 
that parliament shall by standing orders regulate its own proceedings. When we regulate our own proceedings, and today reference is only made to the 1992 constitution and not to the standing orders of the parliament of Ghana, and in particular, standing order 13. Today, as we speak, the speaker is indisposed. There is a presiding person in the first deputy speaker. So, for your purposes, can you imagine what will happen in parliament? While the first deputy is presiding, there is no second deputy speaker available who will preside to supervise him voting for our purposes. Repugnant and unreasonable decision. He is presiding. So where he is presiding, and the second deputy speaker for some purposes is not immediately available in the chamber. He will walk down, vote. At that time, there will be no person presiding over the parliament of Ghana. This is a judicial support for President Nanahadu Dankwa's e levy that he is laboring to pass. We remain opposed to it, stitch by stitch, clause by clause, article by article. When it is presented, we will fight back strongly with yeah. our one. Yeah. From today, from today, maybe there will be a new definition of who a first or a second deputy speaker is. Maybe. Maybe they don't deserve as according them the offices they occupy. Maybe that is what the Supreme Court is doing. We will just recognize them as MP for Pomina and MP for Befoa. <laughs> Nothing more. I thank you. Okay, it's NDC for uh, and so we on Eba uh, <laughs> Hello, I'm going to so, we'll pacifica as a child of four day, and then now for one called Dom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong one. What did you choose? Say, I'm always saying a year fita. Na a year fita non sonu. Na a ye and cow bunny beer a woe no mu beer. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain, si beer. Unique laser whitening product. A beginning in every swam or come, come, come. The other one is a utu so. Na o de be a go. O brush it so. Now the chicho is in the swing in a come. O via and who were no general were no sa. Into for a unique laser whitening. I was 079 Unique laser whitening. Or say, Muni says